Hi everyone, I'm Daniel, and today I would like to show you something that is related more to the way that we are actually <coughs> finishing usually a practice of Qigong. So how you can gather the Qi and just put it inside your mud, your body, your muscle, your bone, today make your uh, body actually mu much stronger and more healthy. So the way that I do is it is very, very simple. And if you like this exercise, I will be very grateful if you just subscribe to my channel and hit the bottom and just share the vid this video with your friends, okay? So usually let's say I'm doing very simple Qigong exercise or maybe I'm just finishing a series of motion. So I may be opening from one side to the other, breathing in and out, circulating the Qi throughout my body. And usually the way that I like to teach it as we gather the Qi and about three times clear the energy down and then we gather the chi up and down and just squeeze it down to the lower tantien. Breathe, relax, enjoy the meditation. So this is a very nice way that I like to do it many, many times. But also sometimes I, I tell to myself, okay, what I'm going to do with the energy? So I can just maybe put it in a place that's painful. I can gather the chi and make a massage for my face or rub my body or whatever. But now I want you to take the visualization of the chi and try to see your bones. Try to see the tissue that is surrounding the bones, even in the, inside the bone itself, the bone marrow. Try to breathe to all your bones. I'm breathing to my bones, I'm breathing to my, the bone marrow, allowing the chi to circulate in the area and sink down. And while doing that, I will just try to strike a little bit along my body in order to push, oppress, or invigorate the chi inside the bone and the bone marrow itself. Now usually I don't do it after a series of Qigong that are very soft and nice, like maybe that I'm just flying or doing maybe the five elements that I'm breathing or something like that. I'm usually doing this exercise after more powerful motion, like the Yijin Qi that I'm stretching my body or maybe the Baduan Qi that I'm stretching very, very strong if I do that in this way, okay? So I'm circulating the Qi inside my body, trying to visualize this area and then I'm doing my palm is the way of cupping. So this is cupping, okay, this is the way. So I'm breathing in and out, and all the area that I'm going to strike, I'm really trying to visualize, and I go striking, you see? Up and down. So I take up, Yang Meridian, and down, Yin Meridian. Up, Yang Meridian, down, Yin Meridian. Now you can see I'm actually doing the squeeze and the, pan, the strike quite forcefully. But this is because I'm doing that for so many years and I'm really used to that. So in the start, I will not recommend you to, hard, to hit so hard. I will go like this, soft. And trying to visualize you're pushing and pressing the chi inside your body, slowly, slowly around the eyes, around the area. And it can be here. You can go the leg up and down, you see? All this area, up and down. You can hit on your body, not too strong in the stomach, never on the kidney, never hit the kidney, maybe just like, you know, like a gentle tap, no more. It's not healthy for us. And then slowly, slowly, your body get stronger and stronger, okay? I remember when I started to do that, I was hitting like this, you know, very gently, and now I can go. It's not painful because the chi is already there, it's circulating throughout my body. When I'm breathing, I'm actually extending the chi through the area of the bones, the more marrow, the muscle, the tendon. So I'm phys physically fe feeling fit and strong. So this is a very beautiful way to sometimes, not all the time, to finish a qigong practice and to take about two or three minutes, just hit inside the chi, your body, visualize you're pressing the chi inside and you will get stronger and stronger every day, okay? Thank you very much. See you in the next video. And I hope you enjoyed it and just share it with your friends. See ya.